P25 networks have standard interfaces defined. These allow different subsystems to connect together. They are effectively gateways between different parts of the system. Dispatch systems connect to conventional P25 networks using a protocol called the Digital Fixed Station Interface, or DFSI. This allows for voice and also for control of the repeater. The DFSI interfaces voice to and from the repeater and also allows for control of the repeater equipment. Or in large networks, a group of repeaters can be controlled. Dispatch systems connect to trunk networks using a different protocol, CSSI, the console subsystem interface. Instead of the dispatcher connecting to a repeater, the dispatcher selects a group that they wish to communicate with, and the trunking system sets up a call to that group. The console interfaces allow for encrypted communication from the dispatcher out to the radio units and also support features such as A&I or automatic number identification, status messaging, emergency alerts and many other features. Voice recorders also often interface to a system using the CSSI or DFSI protocol. The P25 standard also allows for phone calls between radio users and the public switch telephone network or a PABX. Many systems have a gateway that allow radio users to make these PABX and PSDN calls. P25 systems can support IP packet data. This means data applications can talk to subscribers, mobiles and portables via an IP address. IP packet data allows P25 networks to support a large range of data applications. There are several standardised applications such as GPS location services. However, because the transport mechanism uses IP data, many proprietary applications can also be custom made. Many P25 digital radio systems also include analogue gateways. These allow digital radio channels to interface to legacy analogue dispatch equipment or analogue channels for interoperability. Some of these gateways even translate analog signaling protocols like MDC-1200 into their P25 equivalent. Because P25 systems are typically IP connected, standard IP protocols for fault management can be used. Many P25 radio networks can interface to existing SNMP management systems. Telephone calls are an optional feature of P25 trunk networks. In many public safety networks, this feature is not required as the dispatcher can patch a phone call through when needed. In some commercial systems, such as at oil refineries, the dialing of phone numbers may be required for safety reasons, as selling of phones might not be permitted on the site. For this reason, some networks do allow radio subscribers to dial phone numbers. The P25 standard includes a protocol to transport the dialed digits from the radio to a telephone gateway. This gateway then validates if that number is permitted, and if so, sets up a call and transcodes the audio between the analogue on the telephone network and the P25 digital audio on the radio network.